multiple Amish people were caught out after the emergency alert revealed their secret cell phones. Oh no. They were caught out they and were outed? Yeah. And humiliated. Wait, is this real? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? I know this guy. This guy's real interesting. He's like an ex Amish. He lives near them and he he has all kinds of tea on him. Okay. Out here in Amish of smoking of big doinks in Amish. <laughs> awesome. My Amish buddies shunned today by the Amish church. Oh boy. That's right. This right here. Right, the test he's yeah. showing. Over the years, there's been quite a few Amish men that reached out and wanted phones. So whenever they request to have oh, a phone, he, okay, oh, okay, so I know this guy's People actually a really this. interesting, cool dude. He makes himself available to Amish people that may need a phone yeah. for whatever reason, for help, a lot, maybe they're being abused, I don't know. Mm -hmm. It's a really, a really altruistic, nice thing he does. Do everything I can to try to get them a phone. Not always can I do so, but in some circumstances I have been able to get them a phone. Now three of them replied back to me today and said, hey, I'm gonna have to lay low for a while. I just got shunned and I said, how'd that happen? They said, hey, that emergency alert that went off? Yeah, we had our phones on vibrate. Damn. And it still went off. <laughs> the one guy said the uh, the elders were coming in his driveway and they were there to speak with him about something that they heard about him, that he might have to get shunned, you know. They got to check up on it to see if it's true. Right when that was going on, the alert went off and he was in his pocket. Now he's getting shunned for both. Whatever they were after to shun him and also the cell phone. <laughs> what is shun? What, oh, is, what, is that? what does it mean when they shun? He is incredible at telling a story. He's the man. He he does seem like a cool guy. His name his Twitter is Yoder Toter Forty. Like he he shows he has TikToks where he hides phones under bridges and stuff. And then there's like a cache of money, and he trades the phone with the version oh, of the money. Oh yeah, awesome. yeah. This guy's pretty cool. Um, Yoder Toter. Are, Yoder Toter Forty. Here, let me find one with a lot of views that we can watch. Here, this one has two hundred thousand. Right, guys, I figured it's time for me finally to show you guys. Amish explained the Amish dress code. When I was growing up, this is the dress that I was <laughs> this is, wearing. This is six minutes. I'm not what I wanted. Here. Today, I built these gates on here by the pool with this battery drill. But if I would have been Amish, where I grew up, in this the man just hates unit, the fucking Amish, bro. <laughs> he left, and he's just he's out for blood. Out here, about it. Amish. He's giving them phones. He's using drills. It's out of control. <laughs> This is what I would have had to use to put my screws in. Doinks and Amish. So I want to show you the difference in a worldly drill. Yeah, no, I see it. It's a big difference, man. Is the plug dead? Where's the phone? Anyway, okay, whatever. Thank you. Shout out to Yoder Toder. In Amish. Yoder Toder. So are you not? Are you not familiar with that uh, practice of shunning community shunning? Uh, I mean, I don't. What does it mean? He's getting double shunned. Like oh, they the, have to leave? Well, he's just, I think he was just sort of joking. Double shun. I, 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 I think to there's leave. only one degree of, uh, of shunning. He was just saying for two reasons they're being shunned. Yeah, but so they leave, right? They just uh, leave? Sort of. I mean, it, it's sort of like being excommunicated from your uh, community. Like, they, they basically, everybody in the community stops talking to you, and you're, like, not allowed to be around them anymore. Like, kicking them out of the community, essentially. Because the Amish don't really have, they don't, you know... They don't really have plan B's, I don't think. I'm uh, not gonna go get a job at Target or something. And... Yeah, I don't know. I, I yeah, I think it is kind of a pretty fucked up thing, actually. Go ahead. Well, some Amish communities, every single one, they interpret the rules via singular community and the community near my college they allowed the women to work at a cafe and they allowed the men to work construction jobs so like they could work heavy machinery in that but only when they were making their money and then in their like personal time that's when they did oh so right. they get that guacamole yeah it, it's it i think depends there's, on there's the just community. like kind of a i think there's a lot of um i think it's a a wide range of how uh it's how the elders right um, progressive yeah each particular uh, community is like some are v very traditional still and really will not allow any sort of electricity or any sort of modern here anything mm -hmm. here i've got the official amish basket.com some people even the one-stop like, shop to get around the rules of no phone in the house 
some people like made rigs and wired up on the outside of their house and then they would like talk outside the window <coughs> that sounds fun kind of <laughs> Amish shutting rules are immensely fascinating to the outside world but what exactly are they and how does shunning work the Amish have a unique culture rich with many do's and don'ts that's a <laughs> rich with many do's and don'ts that's a nice way to put it a wonderful tapestry of things that you can never do or be removed mm. from our community if a member of an Amish community willingly violates agreed upon rules, they may be shunned. What does that mean? Pr precisely, this article details what shunning means. Okay, let's get right into it. Shunning involves a painful separation of a person from their community. A person is no longer allowed to eat or take rides with the other community members. They're not even allowed to give people gifts anymore. Oh, that's no problem for me. You're not allowed to give people gifts anymore? That sounds easy. You just, no. You just don't do it anymore. You just like one thing you don't do generally speaking they're not included in any community activities despite popular belief the person isn't cut off entirely the community will still converse with them and give help for absolutely so it sounds like they get to live they stay and live there they're just being outcast for a time mm -hmm. well the exact procedures may uh, vary shunning is widely considered key to maintaining the integrity of the amish church very interesting. I'm gonna have to start shunning you guys mm. one by one. <laughs> is that why I'm not allowed to eat? That's right. Yeah, your cam is being shunned. Shit. No food. You have that button under your desk. That's kind of like uh, being shunned. Like sometimes when the you, crowd are shunning. Yeah, when you sometimes. Uh... Yeah, go ahead, Dan. What were you saying? Go ahead. But you, you go have, ahead. You talk. Know. You have permit shunned. Stop. I think, I well, think what he would stop shunned. You're shunned. Stop. Don't even well, try. Olivia, stop was... shunned. Okay, I'm trying to make a point. Go ahead, Olivia. You can finish your point. <laughs> I didn't really have much. Shunned. Stop. That's all what, I needed. What about uh when? Hey, you can't double shun me, dude. I'm already. You're double shunned. shunned. Gonna, He's double shunned. You can't triple shun me. You can't quadruple shun me. I'm gonna Zach, what are your thoughts? You can speak. I like you. I like what Zach has to say about things. No? Okay. You're good. You're all good. I mean, you know, if you really want to, uh... Stunned. Stop. I didn't like where that was going. Stunned. Uh, why do people get shunned? For... Wanting too much snacks in the kitchen. I don't know. <laughs> it's easy for outsiders to misunderstand the reasons. It's an act of love. Mm, yeah, <laughs> the Amish are known for their focus right. on living as a family. So what are we? Why are we shunning people? They're not. When does shunning occur? Shunning Amish shunning rules can. Come on, just tell me what I want to know. Um, after confession, the person may be temporarily shunned for six weeks. It sounds kind of like a vacation. Like you don't. Nobody talks to you. I, I you don't have to do anything. I think it's a little more upsetting. <laughs> you, you don't have to give anyone I gifts. See, I see where right. I see where you're coming. For you, it might be a vacation. Yeah, we can shun you if you'd like. You we can just stop try? paying attention to you. I mean, it doesn't sound that bad, frankly. I'm about to get shunned after today's up. You, you, <laughs> you're not allowed to help them do excruciating construction jobs. Oh boy, shun me again. <laughs> After six weeks, the status quo is returned. All is forgiven. It's actually rare for a person to be shunned from an Amish community, but it's still intriguing. Wow. You know, people may, uh, in the Amish community, may find what you're saying uh, offensive or upsetting, but, but they can't say anything because then they doubt themselves as uh, being <laughs> online. If they're and watching, watching this, this yeah, right, so then, it's first kind of, of all, I can, say, isn't it? I can say whatever I want about the Amish because, one, they'll, I know they're never going to hear it. <laughs> and if they do, they're shunned. Gotcha. I'm shunning you, bitch. Hey, Amish, guess what? You're shunned. I'm going to tell your, uh, clap your leader, your Amish leader. Mm-hmm. What are they called? Huh? Elders? Elders. An elder? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's also kind of dope. I like that title, elder. I took, um, a religion class when I was at school because I just wanted to, like, meet people and part of it was like we went to a service for like somewhere in town and I went to an LDS service and there were a bunch of ex-Amish people and I got to ask questions about that's how I 
That's how I know a little something. Did something. you ask them about shunning? Um, I mean, I, di I didn't necessarily ask the word, but they talked about it. Cause, really? Yeah, they have something called Rumspringa. You know about Rumspringa. What's Rumspringa? Oh. You don't know about Rumspringer? Party time. You ever watch that show, Breaking Amish? <laughs> no. Breaking Amish. I've watched it. It's a good show. Oh, yeah. They have a tradition when uh, young people come of age, right? Or yep. when they turn 18. Oh, that's when they go, they go on a, a, a They're journey. They're essentially allowed to go Both live things. outside oh. of the community for a while and, um, and see if they like it. Not and both. and they get to live the non Amish lifestyle for mm -hmm. a little while. Yeah, I know and, uh, what that is. And then they get to. Decide. I love this fucking yeah. movie. Both or King, or God damn it, Kingpin. Bofa? Kingpin. You just say Bofa. And the, the bowling movie? movie. Yeah, Kingpin, the bowling yeah, movie. I love that fucking movie, dude. He does a often, often springa or whatever he said. Rum, <laughs> rum I, I wonder how many people actually come back. From what I've heard, although I don't know for sure. I think a surprisingly high amount of them do. I think so too. Yeah, because you, if you don't come back, then you can't see the, your loved ones. It's all yeah, or nothing. Yeah, you'll be shunned. Yeah. It's all yeah. or nothing. Yeah. If yeah. you don't come back. It's but like, like you a either big come back or, or you leave the community forever. <laughs> or you get double shunned. Per my shunned. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> if y'all haven't seen this, it's one of these movies. Wow. It, it, it's I haven't it's thought very, of this movie in so long. Dude, it's very funny. It's got Bill Murray. Yeah. And this one guy who's Amish, he's doing his journey, but he's like a sick bowler. And um, the second it's, funniest bowling movie of the '90s, Ishmael. What's better, Ishmael? What's a better bowling movie than Kingpin from the 1990s? Lebowski. Oh, Lebowski. Let's not. Eh. This it's is a really movie. a true bowling movie. Lebowski is about a lot more. It's about a lot, a lot, more. About a lot, lot more bowling. than bowling. Okay. <laughs> um, it's funny. It's so absurd. So silly. Could this maybe take this off the screen? Even without sound, I feel like it might get ID'd. All right, let's move on to something important.